This is Florida Gulf Coast University. Welcome to Crew. My name's Brenda Brooks. I'm the Executive Director of Crew Land and Water Trust. And I'm Deb Hansen. I'm the Environmental Education Specialist for Crew. So what is Crew? That's everyone's first question. Crew is a 60,000 acre watershed, but Crew most importantly stands for Corkscrew Regional Ecosystem Watershed. This is the largest intact watershed in Southwest Florida, and we are thrilled today to be able to have the Panther Posse come out and explore crew lands and explore panther habitat. When the students get out to crew, we have a great time on the trails. They go through all kinds of activities, including scent stations. We look at trees that panthers could climb. We look at native flora and fauna. They learn about the plants and animals that live here. Um, we talk about food chains and fire ecology, and students are always on the go. Now right behind us, you're gonna see the headwaters for Crew, and this is a 5,000 acre sawgrass marsh. So again, Crew is a 60,000 acre watershed. This is where it all begins, right here. And in just a little while, you'll see the children that will be up here exploring this Crew marsh habitat behind us. A little bit later, they'll be down on the ground and they will have their compasses and their GPS units and their anemometers as they become scientists for a day and explore this wonderful habitat. Are you ready for a Crew adventure? I am, let's go. We are in a pine flatwood. Panthers use these pine flatwoods to maybe get a deer, a hog, maybe make their dens out here. They travel, sleep out here on these pine flatwoods. This is called a splash pine. Say it. Splash, splash pine. pine. Exactly. And circle PF stands for pine flatwood. Tossy, biologist, panther biologist, are you ready? Stay in the middle of the trail today with your team leaders. Okay, we're going to come to our first scent station. G E over two hundred right. pounds of insects. Okay, so remember that. You see these? See these things that are like on the side that, that are poking out? Mm -hmm. They're called boots. What are they called? Boots. A little critters will go in there to keep warm, keep cool. Sometimes there's even water inside there. You guys see the splash? That's all from fire. And then up front, Miss Ricky is going to teach you about fire. Fire is not bad. Remember when you guys get some medicine and the doctor will give you a prescription? You see how they're lighting the fire a little bit at a time. They're called prescribed fires. It opens up space. It prevents wildfires. It adds nutrients to the soil. Plants need fire. Can you go home and educate other people about fire? Yes. And tell people why it's important for plants and animals. We're going to take a GPS reading on here. What does GPS stand for? Tell it out. Global <laughs> positioning system. We use those satellites up there. Are we north or south of the equator? North. North of north. the equator. We want to come back to this kitchen track here in a month. What are the coordinates? 26 north, 81 west. What is the longitude? 81 degrees west. Take out your anemometer. This is going to give you a read on wind. So yours is 3.0. I want everyone to face that tree right there. See that black arrow? That always points away from you in the direction you're going. Do you guys see that floating red arrow? That's Fred. What's his name? Red. Now you see that outline of a red arrow? That's his bed. Put red on red and put Fred to bed. When you put Fred to bed, the letter closest to that black arrow is the direction you're facing. Now go back up, go out there and face the tower. Panther says. Jump like a rabbit, four jumps to the east. You're going to slither like a snake, four slithers to the west. Ah, did Panther say? Panther says, you're going to stop your prey. Panther says, fly like a red-shouldered hawk to the north. Panther says, bring your claws way up like a black bear and growl. says run a food chain is how 
energy, travel. It's what other animals eat. Okay, how everything gets their energy. And save the, the poop. Poop. for the future. We found lots of holes. A turkey vulture or black vulture. Have you seen any vines or Get, it's a panther. Panther. Because no. the kittens have blue eyes. Okay. Welcome to Crew Nature Rocks. When students come out to crew, after they've had their crew adventure, they get a rock from Miss Ricky and she lets them paint an object or something that they love about nature and they bring the rock and their journal that they complete on their crew adventure back to crew with their family. The students become the nature guides, the field guides that help their parents learn about crew and they leave a token of what they love about crew right here at Nature Rock. And the great thing about that is we are investing in our future when we invest in our children. I hope you had a great time on your adventure at Crew today. Thanks for coming out and we'll see you again soon.